Hi, today I'm just going to uh, talk about and then do a demo of this, uh, this Fender JD Telly. Um, this one has a little bit of a story behind, behind it. Might not be very interesting, but I want to quickly tell you it. Um, about, probably about 30 years ago, these came out. A Japanese Telecaster, Jerry Donaghy signature. Um, I think there was a custom shop one as well, but uh, which was really expensive. These were a bit more affordable, but Japanese guitars, early 90s, so they're going to be good. Um, anyway, I tried one in a shop, really liked it, couldn't afford it at the time, so I, I didn't buy it. It looked exactly like this. And probably about, I don't know, seven or eight years later, so well over 20 years ago still, there was one, one came up for sale quite a long way off, probably about three hours drive from me. And I, I went and bought it and it was this one. Uh, one of my pupils at the time hassled me quite a bit for it because he really wanted it. So I sold it to him. I hadn't had it for very long. He bought it and I, I still know him. Uh, and he's recently, well, a couple of days ago, sold it back to me again. So he was getting rid of it. Uh, and it's just an amazing guitar. It really is. I don't know why I ever, Got rid of it but it's, it's just a brilliant guitar it really shows off why um, people rate fender japan it's just such a well-made guitar and it's it just rings like nothing else you know i'm going to actually compare the acoustic sound of this to some of my other guitars but it just rings i don't know if you can tell on here but So you can kind of play it acoustically and it's the, the neck, you can feel the neck vibrating in your hand a lot and the body, which is a bit more common, but the neck, you can feel it, the vibration of the neck. So it's a brilliant guitar. Um, it's a made in Japan one rather than a crafted in Japan. It says on the back, some people say made in Japan guitars were better. I think it might be a different factory, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it's made in Japan. I think it's 1996, this one. And they were a, a 62, I, I hope this is right. Anyway, I think these were a 62 um, Telecaster body, or style body, with a 52 Telecaster style neck. And it's a real kind of pronounced V-shaped neck. I think they call it a soft V, but to, to me, it feels quite, quite pronounced. You know, you can really feel that it's a V. Reminds me a bit of um, some sort of vintage uh, guitars that I've picked up and sort of held. I haven't had, picked up many things like a 52 Telly, but but um, vintage reissued guitars, probably more likely. Um, I had a, a 53 reissued Telly here that I was setting up for someone, um, and it, it's a little bit like that. This guitar is actually, the sound of this guitar on the bridge pickup is very similar to that guitar. Uh, so it's a real kind of vintagey feeling and sounding guitar, but it's got a five-way switch. And this was the thing about these JD tellies, Jerry Donahue um, wired tellies, is they had a five-way switch. And I think um, when it's on this position, it's just the bridge pickup, as you'd imagine, volume and tone work as you'd expect. When you go here, it's both pickups, but I think they're kind of out of face. You, the idea is you get that in-between strap kind of sound. I think that's the least usable sound on this guitar. It's probably not a sound I'm gonna use much. It's quite good if you want that Peter Green kind of like weird out of phase sound. But other than that, it's, I don't think it's that useful. It doesn't really sound like a strap. It's quite a nice sound, but it's not very usable. Uh, when you go here into the middle position here, the third position, it's both pickups just like a normal telly. That's really good on this guitar. The bridge pickup is outstanding, I think. But yeah, but both is, is really nice. When you go to the next position here, it's just the neck pickup on its own with the tone control and the volume control working as you'd expect. And then the forward position here is the neck control bypassing, sorry, the neck pickup bypassing the tone control. That's an unusual thing to have on a guitar. I don't think I've played another guitar with that. So here it's neck pickup without the tone control being in, involved. And there it's the neck pickup with the tone control. That's probably a bit more useful than you might think. It means you can be here and you can have like a Steve Ray Vaughan kind of, or Hendrixy sort of um, stratty sound, because I think it's meant to be voiced more like a strat than a telly, this one. And 
you could set your volume on half, flick it back here and you've got straight away got a clean kind of jazzy sort of sound. So that's, that's quite a useful thing. It's a strange thing to have, but when you get the guitar, it's kind of actually quite usable. Um, what else can I tell you? The, the machine heads work perfectly. They're vintage style machine heads, but they're much better than actual vintage ones would be in my opinion. Um, I don't think um, old Fenders had very good machine heads, but they, these are really good. They work perfectly well. And this guitar is getting on a bit now, 1996 but they, they work really well. Um, so yeah, it's a brilliant guitar, but you know, I thought I might sort of sell this on straight away, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I think I'm gonna be keeping it, certainly for a, a while. But the main thing about it is that, apart from the interesting wiring, is this resonance. Probably doesn't come across on using the camera mic, but I'll perhaps do another video to try and capture that because it's amazing. I don't remember the one I tried in the shop all those years ago, 30 years ago. I don't remember whether that was like that. I remember it being good. Um, but this one is amazing, just the way it, it rings. Anyway, so I really recommend these. If you see one, definitely worth trying. Um, and for the, if you like a vintage if you want a vintage telly just with a few extra sort of things then these are just brilliant um, I haven't tried the custom shop one so I don't know what they were like I know they were really expensive at the time these came out these were probably about 400 pound maybe 450 that kind of money uh, the custom shop one was probably like three times that that's a bit of a guess might have been a bit less than that but anyway it was a lot lot more money totally unaffordable for someone like me at the time uh, whereas the Japanese one was, you know, it was more affordable. I, I couldn't quite stretch to one at the time. I remember, I can remember sitting in the shop trying one. I read one like this, and it would have been probably about 1993, I think. So nearly 20 years ago, nearly 30 years ago. Uh, and I can still remember trying it. It's a great guitar. Anyway, I'll tell you about it. I'll plug this in and do some demos of it. Um, and I'm going to experiment with, with string gauges and things like that. But I really recommend trying one if you see one of these for sale. Okay, thanks.